What's good everybody? Um, today I wanted to do some kind of short tips and tricks of how we kind of have our outdoor setup at our RV. This is more based on like full-time living in an RV, how we kind of make it feel like home and have a few things tweaked to make our lives a little bit easier. But I uh, just wanted to do a quick little tour and kind of show you guys what we're working with. So as you can see here, we've kind of got right outside the RV um, we've got all our wood storage underneath, um, just obviously keeps it dry and uh, keeps it kind of protected from the elements. Got some little bit of storage, some fishing rods and stuff. Got our little succulent holder there with the welcome. We've got some elephant ear plants there, kind of. Um, they're starting to poke through a little bit. And we got our grill right there. And then you can also see kind of the mat there We've got our picnic table, another little cactus, spike and stuff. Um, but that's kind of our little outdoor seating area. We then got this big planter box. We've got some flowers planted. Um, we're actually growing some tomatoes and some peppers this year. So we'll see, uh, we'll see how that goes. And then down below is where we keep all of our chairs and stuff. So that's a small thing I learned last year is keeping your chairs elevated off the ground. I know we had we had issues with bugs, spiders, that sort of thing. Keeping it just off the ground, even a couple inches, has saved us a ton of time spraying stuff off, having bugs grow, you know, they still get stuff on it. But uh, keeps it dry, um, keeps dirt off it, stuff like that. So I would definitely, definitely recommend doing that sort of thing. Then we've got a few little... Uh, Hanging art pieces, Turks and Caicos, you know, kind of just making making it feel a little more like home. This one's real easy, you just pull it off, little hook there, the hook stays on, and then those are just command strips, they just Velcro off. It's a good way to kind of have a few little things on your RV, they can pull off whenever we drive if we need to. We stay here all year, so we don't really drive very much, but kind of a good way to spice it up, make it feel a little more like home, especially when you're living you know, like us in the same campground. I think we're like here for eight months this year. So good little way to make it feel like home. And then this side is kind of our normal little hookups. We've got the sewer hose there. This is a new thing we added this year. So there's all our water hookups. Um, we do a little T, this is our filter to our main system. This just tees off, that's for washing stuff off, watering the plants, that sort of thing. Um, but then we added this PVC pipe this year and that just holds water line, electrical, um, cable line, that sort of thing. I'm a big fan of that addition. One, it helps all the KOA workers out a little bit when they are doing um, any sort of mowing or weed eating, keeps everything nice together. I think it looks a lot nicer. Um, so that's definitely something I would recommend if you're staying somewhere long-term. I think it costs us like 20 bucks. You know, it's not very expensive. And then next we move into our propane system. So we actually have a Sturgy Stay, um, Extend to Stay kit. So it's made by MB Sturgis. So you can kind of see in here, um, we've got two inputs there. That's the, the, that goes, that's our shutoff for our main tank. So we've got our main tank there. Um, and then our regulator is behind that. So everything before is unregulated. So we've just got these little quick connect hose I think that's like a 10 footer um, that runs out and then as you can see here I can pull this off and that's our dual propane cover there so I don't run any sort of T or anything just since I've already got a regulator on that end you don't need or you don't want to regulate twice little gauge there that shows you generally where you're at so we've got two 30 pound tanks here I also put them on some wood just to keep them off the ground that sort of thing I'm a big fan of those covers. Those covers are normally for like travel trailer stuff on the front of them, but uh, I like using that. It comes on and off really easy, keeps them out of the elements. Um, I'm a big fan. That was a little more expensive, but I definitely think it's worth it. And then the other thing we have is just kind of our base storage. So on this side, I just know where I keep everything. I've got my toolbox down low, some more tools up there, some bird seed, stuff to wash the car. And you know, this is kind of the side of stuff that I need um, fairly frequently. And then I keep the stuff in the middle, like winter clothes and that sort of thing that we don't use all the time. 
And then here's the other side. So you can see I've got some weights. We just stained that uh, the planter box over there. So I've still got the stain sitting out. I need to put it away, but it'll eventually go in there. That's kind of where we keep stains, paints, um, liquid nails. Uh, we keep some extra oil, TSP, a bunch of stuff like that. Got a box full of tarps and covers, that sort of thing. And then all the way back in there, we've got some camping gear. I've got spare stuff for blinds and wood and different projects, some spare flooring, that sort of thing. Anything that we may need to replace um, throughout the year. And then we've got our other bay here. This one's real easy to access. Just move that little planer. And same deal, we've got, this is a little more um, cluttered, but we've got plat, you know, our potting soil, more succulent potting soil. I've got some disc golf stuff. This is more of our miscellaneous kind of things that didn't fit in any of our bins um, in the other bay. And then obviously we've got our big awning here as well. And the awning can come down. We like to have that here. It can cover all our plants if we need it. It can then cover the seating area so we can sit in the shade. Um, when it gets pretty hot, it's supposed to be 85 degrees here today. We had that planter box in front of this front bay and it was like every time I needed to get in there, we had to move this huge thing. So I like how we have it set out, set up now. That would be my big recommendation as you're setting up your campground for a long-term stay is just find the best way to access all of the things you need, have it look visually pleasing. I don't like campsites that have stuff you know thrown everywhere. Not any crazy tips or tricks, but I think the biggest thing I would advise is just find that layout and get something that's visually appealing to you. Everything has a home and it's easily accessible. And then that way, when you need something, you're not having to move things around because that's super annoying. And I didn't, didn't talk about it as much as well, but on that Sturgis stay, the extended stay from Sturgis, it, that's a huge thing for us. Um, having those external tanks. So once one of those 30 pound tanks runs out, I just go fill up the other one. Then we always have one ready. Then I can swap it over or whatever. In the summer, we don't use a ton of propane, but obviously in the winter, we go through a lot more. But um, that is something if you don't have in your RV, I would, I would highly recommend. It's been a lifesaver. That's kind of our outdoor setup. I, I don't know, you know, like if, if those things are normal or not, but we just tried to make it um, as simple as possible. Everything is easily accessible. Um, gives us a lot of area for seating. Try to keep it nice and tidy, just uh, courteous for our neighbors. But those little uh, little tricks might help you, especially like the, the PVC pipe and little tiny things that I think kind of help keep your campsite feeling a little more. Um, clean, not having weeds and stuff around, but hopefully those tips and tricks are helpful. And uh, if you have any questions, as usual, just leave in the comments and I'll uh, certainly reply there. Thank you guys. Happy camping.